Hello everyone, my name is Adam Reeves Vox and welcome to a quick tutorial on how to change your cursor in Windows 10. I'll post a link to where you can get some safe cursors, but keep in mind if you're downloading it from a website that's like Gooky and Cool Cursors 2015 and, it, and you need to install an EXE installer, it is a virus. I am not responsible if you get a virus. I will show you some safe options to get cursors from, but if you download from the wrong place and again if you have to run an EXE or an MSI installer for them, it'll give you a virus. A couple that I'm going to install here, I'm going to put links to the description below, and they're all from DeviantArt. So you just download them, and download the RAR or ZIP files. And so I've already got that one, I'm gonna download this one, it's in a ZIP file. You will, you will need a program to unRAR or unZIP them. You can use WinZip, WinRAR, 7-Zip, 7-Zip is my favorite, link to it will be in the description below. And then go ahead and download them. Navigate to your downloads folder, I made a cursors folder for them and extract them using your favorite extractor. For 7-Zip, you can actually just right click them and go to extract here. And then I have all three setups here. Now you see this one, Chrome Glass.exe has an exe installer. You don't want that. We're going to delete that. Yes, delete. So we have regular, direction, and cursors. So we're going to go to direction first, and it does have a setup.inf file. And we're just setup and then should say like setup information as your type. For that, you right click it and go to install. But if it's an exe and it says like Windows installer or something, you don't want that. It'll pop up something, that'll be fine. Then we need to pull up the control panel. So go to your start menu, type in control. Control panel should be the top, click it. And then in control panel here, we're gonna type in cursor into the search bar then it will pop up mouse change how the mouse pointer looks we're gonna click that it's gonna pop up this mouse properties window now under scheme we now have the one that I installed prior to this tutorial dim and then we have direction direction looks a little bit different we'll choose it hit apply it will refresh just click yes on that pop-up and now we have a different cursor here Editing Evos here, and I do just want to add in that in this video you don't actually see the cursor change, at least at first, and this is due to the way recording programs interact with Windows and the Windows cursor, in that what your cursor is before you start recording is essentially what it has to be throughout the recording, due to some graphical driver thing as far as you know, how it displays the cursor. So I said that the cursor will change and you don't actually see it change in this video, but when you're walking through this yourself, you will see it change. It has to completely reload your Windows interface. At worst case scenario, you just have to log in and out of Windows to make it refresh. But in most cases, that shouldn't actually be required at all. I just wanted to add that in there for anybody who's confused by why my cursor didn't actually change when I said it did. Now, if you want to go back to it, you have all these built-in Windows ones you can choose from, and you can choose those, but I'm going to roll with direction here. And then here you also have a few other options of enabling a trail, hide it while you're typing, making it faster or slower, etc. Uh, you can tell it when you hit control for it to do that little circle around it like I have. And yeah, so it's actually fairly simple. You just have to make sure you download them from the right place. That's just kind of the big thing to keep in mind with this. And again, you don't want to run exe files. So we're actually going to go up here to cursors and we're going to run install that inf and hit install. Now, if you can't see file extensions, like where it says .cur, .inf and stuff like I can, that can actually be fixed fairly simply. You want to go to, want to, go to view and then options and then change folder and search options. Then over here, click the view tab and then uncheck hide extensions for known file types. This will let you see what types of files you actually have. Now I installed another one, so we're gonna go over here to change how our mouse pointer looks. And now we have Gaia 10, click apply. Yes, and now we have a different cursor here as well. So that is how you do it. Again, I will post a couple articles that have like a rundown of all these different cursors. Uh, the Chrome Glass one has an EXE, so I'm not going to trust it, but I'll post a couple examples and just avoid the ones that have exe files but if they just download cursor files you're good to go and then for deviantart specifically if you click where under their username where it said cursors you're going to have a whole set of cursors in their browse category here you got a new popular all time lots of different cursors to choose from You can even have your cursor look like the Wiimote sim, you know, icon. 
Or my favorite from back in the day is this Intis one. So I'm going to actually download and install that one again and just be good to go. It's a zip file. Again, just go to your cursors folder. It's called Intis Extract 7-Zip Extract here. And I'll make a tutorial soon on how to install 7-Zip as a recommendation for my WinZip file. But that's what it is. And then close this again. Cancel. Reopen it. And then choose Intis Cursor. Apply. Yes. And boom. Now this one's quite the high contrast, so I can always see it. So for future tutorials, you're probably going to see this cursor. I do hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, be sure to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out our other awesome tech-related content. And I'll see you in the next one.